Rewards In most books on writing, punishments are discussed in much more detail than rewards. Grisson, in his Instructions in Writing, states that the horse would look upon it as a reward when his rider stopped the punishment. The rider has many different rewards at his disposal, from padding to giving sugar or other delicacies. There are many ways to gain the horse's confidence and regard in order to make him take pleasure in his work. The thinking rider will soon find out that his horse is not only grateful for any reward, but will soon be stimulated to satisfy his rider. If reward is to be of any value, it must immediately follow the exercise. Unfortunately, there are many riders who are too quick to punish but forget about rewards and take the good performance of their partner for granted. The simplest way for the rider to show his appreciation is by patting or speaking with a soothing voice. Patting does not mean slapping the horse with the open hand to make as much noise as possible, which is often done to impress the onlookers. The horse's neck should be caressed fondly and delicately. After a successful exercise, it is effective to walk for a while on a loose rein. The horse will soon accept this gesture from the rider, a break from work, as a reward, and try to merit a repetition. It is interesting to note that Xenophon specified as a reward that a rider should, there and then, dismount and lead his horse back to the stable, not ride him back. Food or sugar after a successful exercise is another way of showing appreciation, provided it is given immediately. This section on rewards should not be concluded without underlining that the reward selected should be appropriate to the character of the horse. Sensitive and affectionate horses will be satisfied with a caress, but more materialistic ones would prefer sugar or tidbits. From the manner in which the rewards and punishments are administered, interesting conclusions can be drawn as to the character and mind of the rider.